All right, question number three. And before we get started on question number three, I've got uh, my example here of my very short but uh, fat pencil. So this could be an example of why there was an outlier. All right, question number three. Use the tables provided to create a scatter plot of the data, then describe the association. Include the strength, direction, form, and any outliers in your description. Label the axes of the graph. So first thing we're going to do is plot the points and uh, label the axes. I'm going to pause the video. Um, when I come back, you'll see that I've ha I have already plotted and labeled the axes. So make sure you do that too. All right, so here we go. We've got the value of the car as the y-axis, uh, the years after purchase, the x, um, and I've plotted my points, so 1, 10,000, and so on. So first we want to describe the association. Go ahead and answer the questions. All right, so the association is going to be strong. It fits pretty much all in a, in a straight line. They're very, very close to the line of best fit. Uh, it is linear. And then it does have a negative association. It also wants us to put any outliers in our data. Um, I wouldn't say there's any outliers in this one, so no outliers. All right, and question B, we're going to do the same thing. So once again, I'm going to pause the video. Um, I'm going to put label the axes and plot the points. Before I do that, though, I just want to say that January is obviously the first month of the year. So when we plot that first point, we're going to plot 1, 100. Just like that. All right, so I've plotted the points. I have month on the x-axis, movie attendance on the y-axis. Um, and then for the association, um, go ahead and answer that on the computer. I'm going to say that the association is weak. Because if I do give uh, like a line of best fit, it does it does look like it, it does trend to go up. Um, I would say it has a linear association um, and then positive as well. I'd say we do have an outlier. Um, I would say the nine comma fifty is my outlier. I'm sorry, 9 comma 25. Let me fix that. 9 comma 25 is my outlier. Awesome. There we go. Um, three much shorter videos for you guys. Hopefully you can enjoy your Friday and your weekend and get some of the homework done in class instead of taking it home.